Good day everyone, you're watching Radio Fixes. On this video, I'm going to walk you through quick steps on how to fix VLC media player when it crashes. Now, there could be various reasons why the VLC player would crash, which includes problem with uh, preloading of MKB files, corrupted program components, or compatibility issues with your system. Now, uh, the first thing what I would suggest you to do is to reset the preferences. In order to reset the preferences, um, you will have to go to uh, Tools, go to Preferences. Under Preferences, you will have to click on Interfaces. Under Interface, you will have to click on Reset Interfaces and click on OK. So this should solve most of your problem in case if this doesn't fix the problem. The next step, what I would suggest is to disable the hardware acceleration. The hardware acceleration feature in Windows provides better video playback performance. Now VLC clashes, crashes may occur when the hardware acceleration is enabled on an unsupported system. Now in order to disable the hardware acceleration, what you will have to do is you will have to click on tools, click on preferences. Under preferences, you will have to click on input and codex the last but one option now here you have an option which says hardware acceleration now by default it has been set as automatic you will have to click on disable and click on save and uh, this should um, see if it fix a problem in case if this doesn't fix a problem now the next step is to fix corrupted program files to get rid of VLC crashes now VLC crashing issue primarily occurs when the program does not load and recognize the data from VLC RC file. Now here's how you can restore the corrupted and damaged component. Now what you will have to do is you will have to close VLC. Now you will have to open Explorer. Once you open Explorer, you will have to click on View tab. Under View tab, you will have to click on check the box which says Hidden Items. And here, close the File Explorer and go to C drive. I will also mention the location in the video uh, in the video description below. You will have to go to C drive. C colon backslash users backslash username. In my case, the username of the computer is uh, Ratio. In your case, it could be the name what you have given, and click on App Data and backslash roaming backslash VLC and hit enter now here you will see a file name which is called VLC RC you will have to what you will have to do is you will have to right click on the file select the file right click on it and click on rename and rename it to old old and uh, this and try to relaunch the vlc player now you can also run the troubleshoot compatibility settings now most of the time the windows compatibility settings allows you to run the programs made for the older version of windows with the current version so what you can do is you can go to uh, vlc location now in the search box you can go ahead and type vlc here right click on it open file location this will open the location to the right you will have to do a right click on VLC media player open file location that will take you to the uh, VLC executable file location you will have to do a right click on VLC.exe go to properties and click on compatibility under compatibility click on 
run compatibility troubleshooter so what it will do is it will try to detect in case if there are any issues and if uh, the program is made to run on an older version of windows or with the current version so these are the steps what you can try and uh, see if the problem is um, fixed and see try recommended settings and test the program and if it works well and good your issue should be resolved in case if that doesn't fix a problem the next thing what i would suggest to you is disable preloading of N mkb files now, just like mov or abi and asf file formats mkb is a video container format some users reported they fixed the vlc crashes by disabling the preload of mkv files now what you will have to do is you will have to open vlc uh, on your computer or uh, in my case let me open vlc by going to this the start menu double click on the file click on tools go to preferences at the bottom left corner of the screen click on select all and uh, here under the show settings select all and expand input codex in case if it is not expanded you will have to expand input codex dmuxers you will have to expand dmuxers and under dmuxers uh, expand you will have to select Matroska and you will have to uncheck the box which says preload mkb files in the same directory click on save and see if this uh, fix a problem in case if this doesn't fix a problem the next thing what i would suggest you to do is go ahead and reinstall vlc media media player for which you will have to go to programs and features the shortcut would be press windows and r key in the start menu type appwiz.cpl it will take you to the programs and features window click on uninstall or change in case if you get a user access control prompt you may click on yes click on next uninstall and re uninstall and reinstall the software so all these steps should fix a problem in case if this doesn't fix a problem please feel free to leave me a comment in the comment section i will be more than happy to assist you with the possible solution i hope you like this video in case if you like this video please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel thank you have a great day